and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess
fear my name, there will arise the sun of justice with its healing rays. The word of the Lord. The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. Sing praise to the Lord with the heart, with the harp and melodious song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn, and sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands, the mountains shout with them for joy. The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. Before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice and the peoples with equity. The Lord comes to rule the earth. reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, you know how one must imitate us, for we did not act in a disorderly way among you, nor did we eat food received free from anyone. On the contrary, in toil and drudgery, night and day, we worked so as not to burden any of you. Not that we do not have the right. Rather, we wanted to present ourselves as a model for you so that you might imitate us. In fact, when we were with you, we instructed you that if anyone was unwilling to work, neither should that one eat. We hear that some are conducting themselves among you in a disorderly way, by not keeping busy, but minding the business of others. Such people we instruct and urge in the Lord Jesus Christ to work quietly and to eat their own food. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs> some of you to 
dead. You will be hated by all because of my name, but not a hair on your head will be destroyed. By your perseverance, you will secure your lives. The Gospel of the Lord. Maybe an aunt or an uncle 
helped us out in some way. Good friends are a major source of gratitude. We can recall any successes we've achieved, and maybe that success included reaching a goal, performing an athletic feat, getting a specific job, or enjoying the job you had. Maybe there's an act of kindness that a stranger performed for you. We can simply and always be thankful for the food that's on our table. Blessings can even be found in misfortune. Even in the midst of addiction, the addict can be thankful that he can move towards freedom. He can be unshackled from his vice. It's not uncommon to see those who are great sinners like Augustine, to come on fire for Christ and to become a great saint, a doctor of the church. As St. Paul tells us in the book of Thessalonians, give thanks in all circumstances. And there are those numerous spiritual goods we could be thankful for. We know that Jesus redeemed the world and opened the gates of heaven for all mankind. We can be thankful for our Catholic faith the truth, the aid of Our Lady, our guardian angel, and the communion of the saints. We can be thankful for the gifts of the Holy Spirit, which are always guiding us. We can be thankful for this beautiful church. God is always prompting us towards Him to be happy, and ultimately to be happy for all eternity. Even in our sufferings, we can be thankful in knowing that Christ has redeemed them to make them meritorious by offering them back to Him. We can offer them up for the conversion of sinners, for the release of a soul in purgatory, to aid a family member. We can be grateful to God in prayer for the gift of the priesthood, who makes Jesus truly present in the Blessed Sacrament and has given these men that awesome power to forgive sins. Being grateful in prayer will help us to be grateful throughout the entirety of our spiritual lives. A grateful person is infectious and is one we want to be around. They always have a certain magnetism to them, since they always see the good and dispel negativity. By doing this, they reflect Christ. The grateful person is joyous, content, and can even find a home among sorrow and grief. Gratitude helps us to also mature all the more, to see the workings of God in the ordinary, and this helps us to become all the holier. It grants us greater insight and awareness, and we're less likely to take things for granted. It helps to cure the amnesia of day-to-day -day life, and it obliterates a sense of entitlement and self-centeredness it helps us to look beyond our very selves and orient our gaze towards Almighty God. Some people may struggle with humility. Gratitude is linked to it. Humility along with meekness are the two virtues that our Lord told us explicitly to learn. Humility along in saying thank you to another is an honest recognition that we're dependent on God and on others. At Mass, when meditating upon the Passion, it's easy to be moved to gratitude for the love that God has for us. The Passion of Jesus is truly that furnace where the saints when to become inflamed with the love of God and neighbor. In fact, the mere recollection of the Passion is a defense against all the temptations of hell. Hell is packed with ingratitude. Heaven has only those who are grateful. A continual song of thanksgiving rises up to our Lord within the celestial court. <coughs> Truly, in order to bring a little bit more of heaven to earth, each of us can practice being a little bit more grateful. By doing so, a foretaste of the joys of eternal life begins now. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
It is truly right and just, our 
he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works. For you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice, 
in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
and safe from all the stress. As we wait the living hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of Him may bring us growth and charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth the Mass is ended. Amen.